CAT, a combined admission test, is attempted by lakhs and lakhs of students each year who are looking to make the cut for various top B schools. But only a few hundred succeed. So what do those who succeed do differently? Let's find out. Students from all kinds of backgrounds attempt and crack CAT each year. What tops the news list is the fact that how many working professionals crack the exam in comparison to freshers. Some say the discipline of a job enhances the chances of an individual cracking CAT. For the matter of fact is, working professionals have a different set of challenges to tackle in addition to the usual ones. One of the many students who managed to crack CAT and crack it big, when I say crack it big, I'm actually talking about somebody who's got calls from practically all IMs, from SPGEN, from NM, from MDI, and IFT. So the list goes on basically. The fact that you guys are currently in a position where you're going to start preparing and in October you're going to be in a position where she's already managed to deal with that position. I would want you guys to interact with the rock star herself. So if you have a question, a bunch of questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, I have learned that you are a working professional. So am I. So my question is that uh, from coming back back from to home from office. So uh, how difficult is it to manage? As in, uh, do you give some specific schedule that many hours of study on weekdays, or is it more prominent on weekends? Or how does it go with with your job? Well, uh, weekends are a blessings <laughs> blessing for sure. But uh, see, when you're working, there is obviously a time crunch, and you need to manage time a lot. So uh, my schedule used to be reduce the time stealers, reduce talking here and there, reduce interacting with friends, and then use that time for your preparation. As in, uh, my study schedule was I used to study daily, not at uh, not at a big stretch as it's possible on weekends for us. But yes, a schedule has to be maintained. So that you keep in touch with all the things that, that is happening in the class and to check yourself time to time where you are standing in terms of your preparation. How does the mode of preparation change in the last few months? Okay, um, while preparing for CAT I am sure you all are aware that the preparation starts somewhere uh, near February, March, April when you decide you have to give CAT this year. right? Uh, by the time July, August comes you are like 2 months, 60 days, uh, 60, 70 odd days from CAT. At that time, focus on your weak areas. As in, you uh, you are in a habit of giving mock tests by then. You are in a habit of checking your report uh, by then. Sit with the faculty, talk about your weak areas. They are there to give you a lot of sessions. You just have to fix your time. You just have to devote yourself. Should we leave the job before uh, appearing for CAT, 2 months before? Or take a leave for a month because it's like very difficult to take a leave from, uh, for a month from the office. So what should it be like? Well, typically such a situation should not arise uh, given, uh, given that you're already preparing for CAD for past few months. So allocate your time judiciously throughout the preparation time. Right? Uh, if, even if you realize that you know, you're not complete with the preparation and need time, it's completely your call. Leave your job or not. Many people have left the job and uh, prepared for CAT. Uh, I would personally not feel that you should leave your job because that really counts in the interview. What are you doing? What kind of job you are in? Why did you leave your job? What also makes news each year is how many engineers made the cut. Students and experts both argue that structure of CAT often helps engineers crack the exam with ease. I have been in organizational activities uh, in, since my college itself and I enjoyed it a lot. And I realized my interest lies in the holistic approach of everything and not just specifically a mastered approach towards anything. As an engineer, uh, the kind of profile I'm working is typically a technical profile. But apart from that, I also get to know the different kind of areas that the business is dealing with, which is equally important once you rise the ladder. Right, you cannot stay technical all your life. Vidushi, an engineer by background, worked with Maud McDonald while preparing for CAT. The fact that she was always a hard-working student only helped her in her endeavor. CAT में ये अपना जब job कर रही थी job के साथ साथ इसने तैयारी की है तो पहले से ही determined थी कि मुझे एक coaching करनी है और coaching के साथ साथ मैं घर में अपना पढ़ाई कर लूँगी मैंने कहा कि भाई इससे तो मुझे तो जहाँ तक मालूम है कि CAT की तैयारी के लिए तो लोग सब कुछ छोड़ देते हैं और पूरा इसी पे ध्यान लगाते हैं बोली नहीं मैं अपने जॉब के साथ साथ इसको कर लूँगी तो बड़ा इजी वे में इसने जब पढ़ने बैठती थी तो फिर सब कुछ भूल जाती थी 
और उसके बाद जब सोती थी तो फिर खूब सोती थी Help in the form of coaching, Vidushi says. Help us specially in the verbal section of the exam, as that was her weak area. Well, uh, a simple strategy was follow your teachers religiously. <laughs> uh, what all they used to teach in class is to come back and revise that, and is to get uh, strong in the fundas in the few, uh, first few months when I decided to give CAT. And uh, as time passed, as uh, mock started coming up, I sat down with them. I discussed with my strategy, and e of each and every question that I I was in this kind of thought process while I attempted that, and that's why it got wrong. And we uh, we uh, worked on our weak points. They knew exactly where I was going wrong with the kind of strategy that that I was giving uh, feedback on. And then uh, we came up with a lot of strategies. We can do this, and we can do that, and this this can be uh, done this way. and uh, similarly ap after a lot of hit and trial and uh, i actually got my correct strategy to uh, crack cat experienced faculty comprehensive study material constant feedback on performance in mock test offered by coaching institutes can prove to be really helpful the comprehensive uh, study material that we, that we provide them in the classroom uh, uh, coaching right and the way the faculties who have experience of uh, teaching uh, more than you know thousands of students uh, of uh, for last 6 uh, to 7 years right so they have been a, you know a regular cat examination givers and they have all, always scored more than you know 99 percentile in their own you know domain so this is how we take care of the faculty and the quality too and the quality of the faculties becomes really very important inside the classroom while all students appearing for cat have one common goal the paths they take despite possible similarities in terms of their educational backgrounds are different but it is the attitude of the aspirants that separates wheat from the chaff never be casual in anything which you do if your mom asks you to tidy your room or your boss asks you to make a presentation in front of the clients take both things as seriously as you can because the intensity which you put in and the results which you get out are proportional Binaki a hard working student throughout school and IIT Kanpur followed a very strict regimen to reach IIM Ahmedabad in his second attempt There is no one size fits all sort of a thing here it varies from individual to individual but there are certain key things which i learned through my experience and my mistakes One of them is that more than the number of hours which you spend in preparing both for cat and for the interviews it is the number of effective hours that you put in and to make them effective you need to keep track continuously of what you are putting in in my particular case i used a mobile application to track my time i used to punch in the moment i uh, was sincerely studying and punch out even when my mind wandered for a minute Many around him raised eyebrows when he did not go for other IIMs last year despite having converted the calls he was determined to make it to IIM Ahmedabad once he was determined to give himself another chance for IIM Ahmedabad then we were with him and he spent another year working very hard for cat and then for interview then luckily he succeeded One question that CAT students with engineering backgrounds are often asked is that why management after engineering? And Pinaki believes that instead of wasting country's resources, in fact, an engineer from a premier institute only becomes better equipped to serve the nation after a degree in management. I think the broad expectation the society has from an IIT or an IIM graduate is that these are people who have all the brains and skills to take up challenges of national importance and then work hard towards solving them and this is my personal opinion that if an education in management and business if done sincerely can actually complement the technology knowledge and not nullify it to generalize that a certain section of students have an advantage over others is perhaps not fair but one thing which can give anybody a clear head start is the clear knowledge of one's goal and the sustained and determined effort towards it join us for a lot more on the other side of the break